Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 82, verse 6, is where we begin. Let's actually begin reading in verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. When people do not stay close to God, they are in darkness. And that's when they begin to do foolish things like calling wrong, right, and right, wrong. They lose all sensibility. And if enough people in an area, in a country, in a society are like that, then that society begins to fall apart. Verse 6, I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Leaders on every level are given their authority by God, and that's why they are referred to as gods with a little g. It's because they have received their authority to rule from God. They get their authority to rule from God. They will answer to God for how they rule. That goes for saved and unsaved. It's all a part of Judgment Day. And since they receive their authority to rule from God, I'm talking about fathers in the home. I'm talking about parents in the home. I'm talking about supervisors and bosses on the job. I'm talking about presidents, prime ministers, I'm talking about kings, governors, senators, you name it, mayors. They all receive their authority to rule from God, and they will all answer to God for how they use the power that was given to them. And one thing they should remember is that the one true God never misuses his authority, and they should be like him. Because if they're not, you can bet they will be punished. Six, I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. These leaders, and again, at every level, they may be looked upon as being important in this life, and they are because of their position. And leaders need to be respected because they are put in that position by God. So they are important. They're in an important position. They're still sinners saved by, by grace, or they're not saved at all, but they're nonetheless important, which is fine. But although they may be important in this life because of their position, they're still going to die like everyone else. The grave plays no favorites. And believe me, once you hit the grave, you're, you're, you're no longer important, other than the fact that your judgment will be stricter because of your position in life. But the, the grave plays no favorites. You're still going to die. You're still going to stand before Jesus. The grave is not impressed with what the world calls important. Eight, arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. So he is asking for the Messiah to come. That's the prayer of the psalmist. Send the Messiah, send your king, God. And he did. And when Jesus returns, he will rule the whole earth. There's going to be nations, but they're going to submit to him. What a wonderful time that will be forever and ever on the new earth. If you, want to be a, if you want to study the rest of the Word of God with me, all of the Bible from Genesis through Revelation, you can do it. There are four series covering the entire Bible, Old Testament and New, archived verse-by-verse -verse studies. Just click and listen at the Bible, versebyverse.com. And if you want to be a part of this ministry, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. And when you take a break from studying, if you go to the front page at the Bible, versebyverse.com, Click the donate button. You can perfectly give us a Lord made lead. See you next time.